All right, what's up? This is Flex Wheeler again with MD TV, and I'm standing with Garrett Allen. Garrett, how are you doing today, bro? Very good, very good. Now listen, on prejudging was yesterday. Uh, nice shows tonight. How did you feel at prejudging and everything? Well, I feel good, but uh, you know, first of all, I'd just like to say it's a real honor just to be standing here next to you, Mr. Flex Wheeler, one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. Wow. So. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. I do really, man. But um, now, um, actually, let's start. Let's go for the, uh, the beginning. Where are you from originally? Uh, well, I was born in uh, in Berkeley, California, actually. Berkeley? That's yeah. where I got my tats at. All right, man. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 42. You're 42. And you, um, oh, just a year older than me. Jeez, you make me feel bad. See, I'm always <laughs> saying I can't look good anymore because I'm too old. But here you got a guy like here setting me up. Um, now you, yeah. Now you live in, um, you live where now? I'm living in Vegas. Now, now what do you do for a living? I uh, own and manage health food stores, J&J &J Health Foods out there. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Now, how did you think uh, prejudging went? I mean, you look great out there, man. I, I think it went well for me. I mean, I'm in the best shape of my life. I, that's all I can do is put it out there and um, I leave it to the judges from there. I, I felt good though. Right. Now, as far as your diet and everything, you do your diet yourself and yeah. everything? Yeah, I do. Um, you know, I, to be honest, I did pretty much what I did last year because I felt pretty good about last year and mm -hmm. uh, tweaked a couple things and I just had, I, I was lucky. I didn't have any major injuries. I mean, that's nice just to have a year where you don't fight something. Right, so right. I got lucky in that. I was able to train an entire year basically for this show. So uh, it went well. Now at 42 years old, I mean, um, how, do, how do you keep your drive? I mean, you've been competing for a while. You have a full-time job that you run and stuff like that. I mean, what, what, what keeps you motivated going? You know, that's a good question. A, a little insanity, maybe. I just, <laughs> you know, I'm not sure. I, you know, last year I was really close, and when you get that close, I, you know, I got to thank Tricky Jackson, I think, for keeping me really hungry for it and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and keeping that drive alive. Right, right. Now, what did you weigh in on uh, weigh ins yesterday? I was surprised. I was 173 and a quarter. Wow. So. Light. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, if I was to give you the floor on MDTV here, and I give you an opportunity to say whatever you wanted to your families, your friends, your support, your fans out there, the floor is yours. What do you got to say? Well, I just got to thank everybody, you know, from my, my friends and everybody that comes into the stores, uh, my coworkers, my girlfriend for, for putting up with me and supporting me so much. You can never say enough. You can never say how important it is to have that support, to, to not have to cook chicken every day, day or just to have that stuff done for you. I mean, you, you just can't tell them how much that means. I mean, you say it, but... I don't know. I, I'm not sure it really sinks in. You know, right, it just right. it means so much. It's a team effort. Oh, it definitely is. Even though it's just me up there, I got hundreds of people behind me that right. uh, that really helped. Right. That's one thing I don't think a lot of people understand. It's such a team effort. I mean, your part is to be able to go on stage to do the training, this, that, and other. But you got somebody helping you with your diet, cooking your food, and then you got a support system. It's it's not just you. It's it's truly a team effort. And what I find it with a a lot of guys are really. Uh, uh, do exceptionally well in a sport it is a team effort and uh, and that's pretty much what you're relating right now yeah I mean they you uh, to have no distractions really I mean it's unbelievably important so yeah I just got to say thanks to everybody I love you all I mean it just I hope that sinks in all right so this is MD TV you know we're about the no bull let's see what you work with homeboy peel You just notice how lean he is. I mean, look, look, look at his skin here. Look how thin his skin is here. This is ridiculous. Vascularian and abs. Look how deep the abs is. Look at the separation here. Separation in a test. I can stick my finger in there. The guy's squeezing my chest here. The pec striations. That's what you got going on. Biceps. You can see the separation between the brachialis. Bicep. Look at here again, the separation here. This is beautiful. This is what you call condition here, folks. Let's go ahead and keep it some soils this year. Again, vascularity here to separate in a detail. Flex again. Look at the peak on this monster here. Oh my gosh, jeez. This is beautiful. Go ahead, turn around to the back. That's what you call a back, gentlemen. Once again, Christmas. It's not even Christmas time. We haven't got Thanksgiving yet. Look at this Christmas tree back here. Again, a thin skin in the back here. That's great. That's great. That's condition. And once again, striations and adults here. Detail in between the breakouts, the bicep, the shoulder, the peak again. Here, look at the separation in there, the detail. That is tremendous there. That is condition, fellas. That's what you need to look like if you want to be on a national level. This is what you need to bring to the table. If you don't got that, don't come, all right? Stay home. 
even the triceps. Look at the triceps in here and the triceps here from the double bicep. Once again, look at the detail. Sinking my finger in here. That's detail. That's conditioned. Once again, a soleus in between here. Look at the calves, the separation here. Look at that. Ridiculous. Hamstrings, the separation, striations, and so on. This is complete condition here. Exceptionally well. At the age of 42, let me tell you, there's no excuse for me. I mean, no excuse for you guys not to look great up here. Congratulations, man. I wish Thanks, you the best. Man. It's been a pleasure. Real pleasure. Thanks. MDTV. So